Alright, so I've spent about the last week and a half straight just sitting here playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla because as much as I like the game, I cannot play it for more than like three or four hours at a time. And also the game is excessively long, but that's a story for another video. At one point of me playing though, I ran into an arc that not only could I not play for very long, but I could not finish it. Now in my opinion, most of the arcs in this game are actually really good, but this this was a different story. This drove me to the edge of giving up on this game. So I figured the easiest way I could get through it is to just record myself playing it and see what happens. Either you guys will see me become completely broken or you'll see my love for the game be revived. All right, there's the absolute sweetheart, Ramvi. All right, let's go. We taking drugs out here. All right, I am already partially through this arc and there's no way to restart arcs in this game, but that's all good. Cause we got plenty to do. Like I said, I gave up on this shit quick. Like, all right, we're only in chapter two. We're only in chapter two. So far, I, uh, I, I, I killed some blue people. That's about all I remember. Is this the right way? Oh. Well, that didn't take me anywhere. I must say, this leap of faith is fucking sick. This is, so far, this is far and away the best part of this entire game is just this leap of faith. Oh, so satisfying. So in case you don't know, and spoilers ahead real quick, um, Eivor is, for some reason, Havi, which, again, if you don't know North mythology, is Odin. So, um, so yeah, we're not sure why she's Odin. We're not sure how she's Odin. She just is. I think my favorite thing about Asgard is how everyone who lives in Asgard just wears the same clothes as Vikings do on Earth. What the fuck is that? Oh, I remember where we are. Oh, I know. I remember why I stopped playing this now. Oh no, this is not. Oh no. No, don't run away. Come back. You're so sexy. Ah ha ha ha. The cop. Oh. And yep, yep, he's just 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 going for a run. Just going for a gentle jog. You know? Just how it be sometimes. And of course we can't we can't do any damage. Ah, oh, this is great. This is great. This doesn't happen much in Valhalla, you know? The the NPCs, the AI definitely works. Maybe if we go into the arena he'll follow? No. Uh I, I'm not sure what to do. I think I'm gonna have to commit, lads. Cause as far as I know, there's no way to restart a mission. So I'm just gonna, I'm either gonna have to wait till, oh, and of course now he gets it. What is up, doggo? Oh fuck, okay. If you don't have the, uh, the classic assassin controls on in this game, definitely switch. It's so much nicer. X to attack, B to parry, A to dodge, it just works. Uh, well, kind of. I mean, apart from when I'm fucking dying. Where are you going? Oh my! Oh wow! Okay. Well, that's just that's just rude, and also impossible. That's just against the laws of physics. That's some Looney Tunes shit right there. You know the Looney Tunes? You know in Space Jam when they like go under Michael Jordan's garden and like sneak into his house? You you gotta know what I'm talking about. Jamie, pull up the clip. Oh wait, no, I don't have I don't have a Jamie. The view back here stinks. Whoa. But he just never lines. There's no way to dodge that move because he's so close. Maybe if he came from farther away, I could... Oh, well, apparently not. Well, uh, I may have spoke to you. Okay, I'm getting... I'm getting royally fucked right now. What is happening, man? Why is this even happening? Okay, now he's... Now he's throwing rocks. That classic wolf technique. Love when dogs fight by throwing rocks. This is potentially... The worst fucking boss fight of, of all time. Why does he have like shit coming out of his body? Like just floating around his body is just piles and piles of horse shit. I've warned you well, and look where it has led. Savvy, stop. Is a wolf though? Why does Lucky have? Why does Lucky have a fade? Why does Lucky have a fade and a comb over? Why? Why does he look like that? Out of my way, Loki. 
You swore an oath to never spill my blood. Step aside, and I won't have to. This is my blood! What? He's my son! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? What? <laughs> Wait, so did Lucky have sex with a dog? Is this saying that Lucky is a fan of bestiality? Is that is that the point it's trying to make? Yeah, that must be it. L Lucky shags dogs. That's what this is saying. That's the key theme of this of this arc. Now I, I just can't get the thought out of my head of Tom Hiddleston having sex with a dog. Like that's all that's left me with. And it, it's a bit of an issue, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, <laughs> I mean that one scene kind of sums up my, my issues with this, with this arc. Because, to put it simply, what the fuck is going on? And why? Is this real? Is this an Isu? Is this just a hallucination? Is this like an Isu flashback? But this can't be an Isu location. I refuse to believe there's too much there's too much magic shit going on. And also everyone's just dressed like Norsemen from the 800s. Like why is she wearing a fur coat? It's it's roast it's like su it's a sunny day, green pastures and she's wearing a fur a fur hood, a fur scarf. Why? What is happening? I I don't I don't want to ask any of these questions. <laughs> I have no drive to ask any of these questions. Uh The sun and the moon are pulled by two horses across the day and night skies. Sure. And are their names. I mean no. Each morning's due is the For morning's sure that's not how it works. Faxia's foaming mouth. Curious. Thank you, Harvey. And you'd think As Odin, no answer, god of all things, would know that. But okay. I still don't understand any of Javi's motivations. None of them are clear. I don't actually understand what he's doing or why he's doing it. And I still don't know who he fucking actually is. How the fuck would I know? The riddles will guide you. That was so awkwardly delivered. Man's just saying words. Hori and Bori and Cori and Tori and Hothri and Bothri and Fothri and Throthri. Kind of bars though. He kind of got flow. Uh, he's still just going off. Still just saying words. Gandalf is there, apparently. So I guess Gandalf is now canon in the Assassin's Creed universe, which is great. Cradled in rock at Asgard's highest height, a seed sleeps in Ymir's cold grip, warm it awake. Bring it to water for old bone to sprout with new life. That seems like an innuendo. That seems like an innuendo for Viagra, to be honest. For old bone to sprout with new life. I mean, I'm just bring it, warm it awake, bring it to water. A seed in someone's cold grip? This, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can call me mature. I don't care. This riddle is an analogy for a cock with Viagra in it. Oh, we do have a horse in this world. What the fuck? Yo! Asgard may have fixed me just because we have a massive elk. Oh, that's... Uh, uh, no, is that elk? Is that reindeer? I don't even know because I... I yeah, I, I don't know too much about different types of deer, but that's sick. Bro, can it fly? That's the quest now I have. That is so sick. I mean, it's going to die now. <laughs> Oh, that noise is beautiful. Sorry, bro. Oh, well, you're really making it depressing by making him fall off the entire... Okay, he's just... He's going all the way down. That is unfortunate. Sorry, bro. Don't, wor don't worry, we'll revive you. In a second. As long as we don't die first. I'm so... How have I died from fall damage like eight times? Can we mention how gorgeous my outfit is, by the way? Hold up, let me put that... Let me put that hidden one's hood up. Oh, that is, that is fucking cinema, bro. That is cinema. Look at that. Look at that. Like an assassin. Just kidding. Like Odin. 
Like, literally, like Odin. That's who we are right now. Restricted area? Bro, I'm in- I'm in fucking Asgard, and I'm Odin. What do you mean, restricted area? Oh, it's the blue man! Okay, why are the blue men here? Oh, another blue man. It's just the blue man group. I do love their music, so, you know. I- like, I don't particularly want to kill them. Their music is quality. So fucking silly, man. How is how 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 is this in an Assassin's Creed game? How is this in an Assassin's Creed game? In an Assassin's Creed main story, I get that it's a, a hallucination, but like, what the fuck is happening? What is going on? I meant to find a seat in rock. That's so. Sp oh, it's right there. Okay, nice. Wait, am I meant to set it on fire? Oh, I have a torch. Hold up. Bro, I was about to fucking leap off. Just chuck the torch at it. Is that... I can't tell if that's water or not. I can't tell if that's water or just not loading, but let's just try throw it. See what happens. Perfect. I mean, weird, but perfect. It's been an hour. It's been an hour, and I've killed one wolf and found two little fucking trinkets in an hour. You know when I said this game is long? <laughs> On an upside though, at least we gotta keep making this jump. Again, so fucking satisfying. The camera shake just does, does something different to my bones, bro. <laughs> that was such an unnecessary backflip. It can't be any Isu world, because magic doesn't exist. That's one of the core points of the Isu, that all of their stuff is rooted in advanced technology. It's not fucking magic. So this can't be Isu, it's just a dream. It's just a dream that means nothing. Nah, doesn't doesn't look menacing. Really fits in with the aesthetic of Asgard. You know, really, it just, it just, it just matches the aesthetic. Definitely doesn't look like a big battle arena, that's for sure. Like. There's no way that we're going to have a massive fight against a bunch of blue men in here. It's not going to happen. Oh, there, yeah, there's just, there's arrows. There's just casual arrows there. I mean, why wouldn't there be, really? We bring you your bride. This feels really awkward. Cheeky bit of forced marriage. My beloved. <laughs> why does she leer so wickedly? Should I just be brutal? She agreed to marry you for the sake of Asgard. This is, is this is a terrible idea, Javi. Fact, He's for sure not going to go along with it. If she hopes to dissuade me from this union, she'll be quite disappointed. I am committed to seeing this through. Even though she Enough is disgusted charge. by you. We that seems like a bad idea. That seems like a marriage you destined to fail. Her? Sounds like a very toxic relationship. Yes, a kiss. A brief taste to whet my appetite. What? That's not a phrase. Wet my appetite. Wet my appetite. That's nasty. Bro. I have no investment in this plotline. Or any of these characters. And I have no reason to be invested in these characters. That ends now. But I gotta say, Magnus is a very good voice actor. Why do you still wear Freya's form? Reminder of who's at stake. What? This is disturbing. That's transphobic, Amor. That's transphobic. Oh, they're deer. Okay. Lol. Oh, they're they're okay. They're blue men. They're big blue men. That's unfortunate. I still can't believe Lucky gave birth to a fucking wolf. Odin's probably my favorite canon assassin. Just behind Cassandra. That's a wolf. Oh, you fucking shut the fuck up. Oh, shut the fuck up. Why is there why is there a very small tiger? Oh it's a cat. It's probably a cat, isn't it? I'm so glad I'm massively overpowered or this would be fucking killing me. Like it's less than ideal as it is. If I had to play this for hours on end, bro, it'd be over for me. Just marry him to Freya, let him paint the last rune, and then kill the fucker. Like it's it's 
It's not that hard. Again, I have no motivation or investment in this entire arc. Maybe I'm just a massive pe pessimist, though. That's what it is. I just need to be. I just need to stop being so negative. I should just be positive and let people enjoy things. That's what I need to do. Uh oh, Blue Man Group returns. Man looks like fucking Blue Thanos, to be honest. Ow. That's really rude of you, I must say. Ow. Oh my days. <laughs> what was that? What is happening? Oh. Bro. I suck at the combat, eh? Oh, here we go. Uh, that was... What is happening? Why is everything so blue? It's just... The screen is just covered in blue right now. I'm so... This is a mess. Oh, there we go. Hey. Nice. How did that do damage to him? I didn't even hit him. Here we go. Let's go! Blue man is gone. Bedded more men than all the holes in Midgard. You're a fine one to talk of sexual appetites. You fathered a wolf cub. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. To be fair, anyone with that haircut would be the type of person to fuck a dog. I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest, right? I'm just being honest. Like, are we really surprised? Ooh, shiver me timbers! I'm quaking in my boots, Loki. Ragnarok is coming, and we are no safer. It is. That plot point has never been brought up to up to this entire point, but cool. Ragnarok, am I right? Very exciting. One more time. One more time. That's hot. That's hot. I mean, the frame rate was terrible, that, but that is hot. Imagine you playing Mario Kart and just fucking Odin pops up behind you on a moose. Damn, he's kind of thick though. The moose, not Odin, to be clear. This is such an epic Viking fantasy, am I right? Very cool, Ubisoft. Very cool. What the fuck was this? This entire thing. This entire thing was just so ridiculous. You know what, though? I will give them some benefit of the doubt. This arc did have some of the more unique mission structure in the entire game. I mean, it's, it's, it's been fucking ridiculous. And I've had no investment in any of the characters. And it probably shouldn't be in an Assassin's Creed game, but I'll give them credit where it's due. I'll give them credit where it's due. And now, and now we leave. Ladies and gentlemen, I did it. I finished the Asgard arc of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and I lived to tell, are we leaving? There we go. And I lived to tell the tale. I didn't think I'd be able to do it, but I can truly say that Asgard was not quite able to break me. So whilst we're in this big cloud screen, it's probably a good time to say that if you did enjoy the video, like I said at the start, it does really help me if you could hit like. And also if you're new here, we are on the road to 1,500 subscribers. So make sure to hit subscribe with post notifications turned on, especially if you wanna see more content like this. Also feel free to comment down below and tell me whatever really, it's up to you. With all that being said, I've been Joe, AKA Founder Scarab. Thanks again for watching. This has been far too long I've spent playing the Asgard arc, but it is what it is, and I'll see you in the next one.